Okay, so here are those uh, examples I promised you for solving equations with fractions. Okay, now since it's a little bit intimidating, I'll start you off gentle with a really very simple one. And, uh, and in this one you can see that if I multiply every term with an x, so I'll do it the long way around, just and quickly the short way around you'll see. Every term gets multiplied with an x, in other words I multiply the right hand side, sorry the left hand side, as well as the right hand side with an x. Then it distributes, so and when it distributes for the first term, then I see my x's would cancel, so I'm left with x minus 1. To the second term I have plus 2x over 7 and on the other side my x's cancel again to leave me with 1. Then I see I still have a fraction and what do I do with fractions? I, well, I multiply with the denominators. Okay, so whatever's still in the denominator, this time it's a 7. So I multiply the whole right hand side with a 7, left hand side with a 7, right hand side also with 7. So I get 7x minus 7 plus, and when it, this multiplies with a 7, it would just be 2x is equal to 7. And there I've got it. This I almost don't want to do it just because it's so simple, but it ends up being 9x equal to 14, so x is equal to 9 over 14. Now, what did I end up multiplying with? I end up, ended up multiplying both sides of the equation with an x and with a 7. So I ended up actually multiplying from the beginning. I could have just done all of it in one sweeping step by finding the LCM. And write it like this, multiply with LCM. What is the LCM? The LCM is 7x, the lowest common multiple. Uh, the factors in the first one is x which is there, and the second one is 7, which is not there yet, so we add it, and then the third one is just an x, and that's already represented. So after we've done that, we can just multiply every term now with 7x, 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 and what happens in the first one, that cancels. In the second one, the 7 cancels. In the third one, the x cancels again. So that once I now simplify, now it's 7 times x minus 1, which is 7x minus 7, plus 2 times, there's an x left, 2x plus 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Okay, and that just gets me that answer of 9x equal to 14 much quicker which we quickly solve to say x is equal to 9 over 14. So um, as you can see, just finding the LCM quickly just makes uh, a whole simple, uh, um, this original mess of things. So I'll see you in the next video where I'll do one that's slightly more complicated. See you there. Enjoy.